that is on top of the world the guy that we were just chatting to said that we're the first tourists he's seen in this town we do pick some roads don't we just look at that we're marion and chris in 2018 we quit the nine to five and bought trudy our camper van we are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. You join us as we explore the east of Turkey. With mystical lands, adventurous train rides, great wild camping spots and interesting characters. Görüşürüz! <laughs> Right, so we jumped back into Trudy and uh, we're now heading about an hour and a half east. After all the cows we've seen on the road in Georgia, that is the first time we have seen cows unaccompanied walking around in Turkey. Maybe they followed us from Georgia. Ah, maybe they came across the mountains. Many of our Turkish followers said we had to come to this part of uh, Turkey, the north and down through the east. And particularly the north was very beautiful mountains and uh, trees, maybe even bears. And I have to say, you're right, I'm pleased we listened. It is absolutely stunning up in this part of Turkey. See the road winding up the side of the mountain here. thousand two hundred meters high and still going up a little bit that's high that's uh, the same height as Ushguli the village we went to in Georgia but with better roads much better roads <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> We just had to show you this view. Look at this. That is on top of the world. Wowzers. Two thousand three hundred and forty meters. I think that's the highest we've driven. Ooh, Trudy. remote would that village be in the winter at two two and two thousand three four hundred meters high okay so here is a question there is a fence all the way along the road but it's not a sealed in fence there's gaps in it right there now i said oh, i don't know maybe it's a windbreak and marianne laughed at me and said a windbreak for what but what is that fence for anybody got any ideas i would love to know Few road works, it's getting a bit dusty. At least it's flat. 
that road works. Poor Trudy. It's <laughs> a lot of cows. It's uh, obviously good grazing land up here. Grass as far as the eye can see. And roadworks. So we're just coming into the town of Ardahan, which is over there, to find a little Scooby snack for lunch because it's nearly uh, nearly two o'clock and we haven't had uh, any breakfast. Is that open? Yeah. So we just stopped off at this little place we found for lunch. It's a very cool building, isn't it? Looks like a massive big yurt. Yeah. Look at that. Donna meat with rice underneath. All the bits and bread. Time to eat. After a quick pit stop, beautiful lunch. First kebab since we've been back in Turkey. We're just about to jump back into Trudy. And I couldn't actually leave this place without making Chris get the camera to share this with you. This is not a landscape that we've seen in Turkey before, but it's all the birds and the grasslands and the wetlands. And there are hundreds of birds dotted around in each of the ponds, in each of the pools. And then hanging out in the park, not children, but geese. As always in Turkey, you meet the wonderful people and this beautiful couple are getting married in 15 days. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> lovely like to meet talk. you. Nice Men to meet you. Bye bye. So lovely. And he was explaining actually um, that here it gets to minus 35 degrees in the winter and so everything, come in the summer. <laughs> everything is cold. And saying that there isn't much tourism, even though there is this beautiful uh, vista to see and this lovely wildlife. He also told us that t uh, geese, goose meat, goose meat <laughs> is a thing you. in this town <laughs> um, because they um, they have it and store it for the winter foods um, because obviously there's no crops when it's that cold. What a lovely place! It's crazy. The guy that we were just chatting to said that we're the first tourists he's seen in this town. Isn't that? That feels a bit crazy because it's such a beautiful area. We've seen nearly every animal on the road, but this is the first time we've seen geese. Geese on the road! You see so many geese in this city um, because geese is a thing. It's actually the city's main national dish. Um, and the, the gentleman we were talking to earlier said that uh, in about a month and a half, um, the goose will be on the menu and it will all be good. This is uh, definitely going through rural northern northern Turkey now. It's such a beautiful spot. So there is the sign to Gurgistan, Georgia, and we're just about to pass the road that we would have joined this road if we had managed to cross uh, at the original border crossing in Georgia. But well, we would have missed out on all those adventures that you've seen up until this point. So that is the road that we would have come through from Georgia. So we pulled off uh, into this village. There's a castle that we heard was near here that we're gonna try and find. So driving down, lots more geese in the fields here and some horses. This is very, very remote. Satan Kalesi, that's where we're going. The Devil's Castle. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's called the Devil's Castle. At the moment, this isn't too bad compared to what we've been on. Am I speaking too soon again? Stop saying that. We 
we do pick some roads, don't we? Hey. Whatever. <laughs> ah, nice big welcoming smile. You can see all the peat that they've got here collected. There's no trees around here in the winter, so they keep themselves warm by uh, by burning peat. Was it back there? I don't know. So I've just jumped out of Trudy because there's a car parked in the road in front and I just want to make sure we're going in the right direction or can we get past. How remote is this? We're just so lucky that the sun's out. We'll be freezing here in the winter. Can you imagine minus 35? Ah, oh, that is the end of the road. So we parked Trudy up, we're going to take a little walk. I think it's about a mile. Woo! Check out deep. this canyon. Look at that. So we're heading round the corner, round there. Hello guys. You got a couple of cows. It's a bit steep for cows, that bank, isn't it? Hey? You're a mountain cow. Aren't you? We've come round the corner. Just look at that. What an insane sight. The valley here, you've got the castle perched up on the rock up there. Absolutely stunning. So Seytan Castle or Kalesi in Turkish is what you can see behind me. And it's also known as the Devil's Castle. It's located in the remote canyon of the Kura River, which flows through it. Nobody actually knows how old the castle is, but it's thought to be around 13th century, when this area was ruled by Georgian kings, and it was most likely a border defense. It's one of the best preserved fortresses here in uh, Turkey and especially in the north. I'm looking at the castle and just trying to figure out how people actually got into it because it looks like it's on a bit of a pinnacle. I'm just thinking that if you got home and you realised you'd forgotten your milk, you'd just <laughs> drink black coffee, wouldn't you? You just wouldn't bother. you got a long walk to the nearest shop. And we've got a long walk back to Trudy, which is what we're doing now. And then we're going to head uh, south down to Kars which isn't a car, is actually the name of a city. Something really special here as well is in the mountains, there are wild horses, just beautiful. I, I can't say that I've seen wild horses anywhere else. You know, Chris just said the new forest in the UK, but there are bars in the floor to stop them moving. <laughs> Driving along this road, there are so many huge birds of prey. Um, eagle looking type birds. I'm not sure what they are. Look, there's another one there. Yeah, that's huge. That's, that's a massive one. And not only birds of prey, but there are lots of grazing cows. It's perfect farming land here. There's another one. There is so many birds of prey. I suppose that is natural pest control. Absolutely. So we've just come over the brow of the hill and we've just been greeted by this wonderful looking lake. The name of the lake, Marianne? Jelde Golyu. Very well said. I think. It's a huge lake, look at that. So we're driving around the lake down towards Cars, which is down at the far end. Just a fantastic drive today. Loving every minute of this. This morning we woke up, we were surrounded by mountains and forests. Then we hit plains with cows and now we're by the lake. And uh, it's just such a great drive today. Oh, 
Okay, you? What are you doing here? We're just having a look around. <laughs> Merci, <Hussein>. Hussein. <laughs> we just met these guys from Istanbul doing a tour on their bikes. Safe travel, guys. Bye bye. Good <laughs> us. Guess what? There's cows on the road! We're just arriving in the city of Cars and uh, we're going to go find somewhere to park up. We've looked on Google Maps, there's a little park that I think we could probably park up in. So we're just in the town now. There's lots of uh, shops. We're definitely right in the center of the city. Okay, so according to Google Maps, where I found a park, it should be just down here on the right. I think, I think it's going to be quite lucky to find a parking space here. Look, there's tarmac. I'm happy. So we found this little park up. There's actually a car park just off that main road. Google satellite works good and uh so yeah we're gonna park here there's a supermarket a minute's walk down the road restaurants just up there so uh, we'll park up here and uh, go get some dinner so we're leaving trudy parked up behind us can you hear those birds they're all coming in to roost there's been a little bit of a crazy bird moment i think we might be up early and i think trudy might have a little bit of decor on her by the morning <laughs> so we've come to this restaurant. Look at this. Whatever. Let's listen. I love the decor of this place. Look how traditional does this look? And look, they got like cloth holders for the cutlery. I love that. But your mum collected all these things. Yes, she collection small beach, uh, Iran, Azerbaijan. Oh, from different countries. Yeah, Oh, there's a wonderful collection of teapot. I didn't see these. Look at these. Okay, dinner is served. <laughs> this is uh, like manta. What is, what is this called? Hango. It's the sheet that they would ordinarily use to make the manta uh, without the filling. And, but it's actually still got the same. It's got the yogurt on it. It's got spices on it. I can smell the mint. Um, and onions. And onions. Are these caramelized onions? Mmm, <laughs> it looks good. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. That is proper winter comfort food. Wow. Is lamb? Oh, okay. and you pour the bean stew on top of sort of dried bread. And then you shred it and it makes a bit like a stew, like a soup. Let's try let's try that first. A bit like a, a dumpling or a pasta sort of consistency with some beans and some lamb in a soup. And I think very that, comforting with chickpeas. Yeah, it's chickpeas. Mmm, that's great. And then this is goose, which is very traditional in this area. So this goose is in salt and it's sitting on bulgur. Now the goose we were told is a staple food around here because you know it's very cold it goes down to minus 50 in parts of, of the cars region so all of their produce their summer crops they will pickle and also their livestock so the geese are actually put and dried out and put in salt so i'm expecting the goose to be quite salty Oh, it's delicious. It's like it dark. is a little it's bit, a bit salt. Like I'm not actually sure I've ever had goose before. Mmm. Tastes a bit like a salty duck. Actually, I would describe it. Very, very good. We have a surprise <laughs> with our dinner. We were chatting with the family that own this restaurant. Apparently, this is the first female entrepreneurial restaurant owned in cars. 
and um, dad's popped by uh, with a massive accordion strapped to his body to play us some lovely traditional songs Amazing. with our beautiful meal. <laughs> Oh, this is you when you were young. Dunya is the world champion. Oh, the world champion. France is Dijonski. Oh, in in yes. France. Um, Turkish music. Yes, uh, Turkish folklore group. Jennifer, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Make sure you watch the next episode where we take a whopping 60 hour train ride across Turkey to buy a new drone. <laughs>